All right, everybody, there's been a lot of confusion I've been seeing about how to properly utilize the Figma MCP server. And I think there's a lot of confusion about how you actually integrate it. Take for instance, this layout right here. It's just like a little ticket card. It's not overly complex. It's not too simplistic. And I'm gonna show you four different ways that you can get this realized in the browser. And we're gonna lead ourselves up to the Figma MCP server. And you'll see iteratively how each of these methods get better and better. And you're gonna understand by the end of this video how the Figma MCP server actually works and what it's doing behind the scenes. Okay, so the first method, and I'm sure a lot of you have tried this, is just a screenshot, right? You take a screenshot and then you go over to something like cursor right here. And then inside of cursor, you paste it and you specify, create a pixel perfect representation of this layout in HTML and CSS. Ensure all colors, typing, type spacing, topography, <laughs> et cetera, are matched up. That's all I said, right? That's not a lot of context outside of the screenshot. And so this is actually what it came up with. It, it did a pretty decent job, but it screwed up the topography a little bit. I it added a shadow where it didn't exist in the main design and you know it's not a bad job just you know off of eyeballing it essentially there's no context here practically so what then would happen if we take the same exact screenshot right but look over here instead we're going to provide it with all of this tokenized information which is just a fancy way of saying okay we're going to describe every aspect of that layout in terms of colors, topography, uh, spacing, um, you know, corner radius, all that stuff. We're gonna give it as much information as possible, but it's still gonna be the same exact screenshot. So what do you think it did here? And here is the result this time, okay? So if I go back and forth between, you know, the original prompt, that's the design there, this is the design that it created when I gave it all that other context, all right? As you can see, it's definitely closer. It's not perfect, but it's closer. And so that right there is a very you know, telling part of this, this process. When it comes to communicating with LLMs and the context that you're providing it, that is very important and it's going to increase the chances at which you get a better layout, right? Okay. Uh, what if we did something else? What if, for instance, we go to something like Google Gemini 2.5 Pro, we paste in the same screenshot, and we, we ask it to create a very detailed prompt describing to a coding LLM how to translate this mock-up layout into code. We need tokenized output, exact match every color, et cetera, et cetera. And so what I did is I took the output and I just pasted it as a prompt along with the screenshot into the LLM or into cursor rather. And that's what this looks like right here. All this information, is it going to do a better job? Well, let's see what it actually produced. Okay, look, okay, th that was actually pretty unexpected. I thought it would do a better job, but again, it's just an LLM trying to read it. And that shows you that there still is a lot of progress to be made in terms of computer vision and how the LLM analyzes actual pixel data. Uh, but this is actually kind of cool. Um, it, it added this stuff, it added the dashed line. I kind of actually like this design a little bit better for like a little boarding ticket. Um, but nonetheless, it did a pretty good job even because we asked it to provide you know tokenized information. Um, now, the final use case, if you want to get as pixel perfect as possible, like if you're working in uh, Figma and you have your design, then use the Figma MCP server because I'm going to show you what that process looks like. So this design right here, again, this is the one that we've been screenshotting. Um, it has everything set up for it in terms of auto layout everywhere. And also if I, I zoom up, you'll see variables being used for the different like border radius, for the spacing values, uh, for the fill. All this stuff is passed into as context automatically in much the same way that I was doing manually by typing it all out, right? Now, the, the, the efficiency of this is clear because you don't have to type all that stuff out. You just have to set up your design correctly. I've also named all the layers appropriately. I didn't used to do that before, but now it's kind of like, you know, it's gonna increase your chances of the LLM and the, um, the MCP server accurately translating your design as possible. So once you have all that stuff set up, then you just switch to Code Connect if you have a paid plan. And what you can do is right click, copy link to selection, which is the entire UI in this case. 
And I'll show you the output of that. Let me go back to cursor real quickly just to show you what that looks like over here. Here it is. So as you can see at the top, I have linked to the Figma document itself. And all I said on top of that was use the Figma MCP server to take the design link to make a pixel perfect representation in the browser with HTML and CSS. And that's it. But along with this, is a lot more context, even a larger amount of context than what I was typing out manually uh, because it's passing in all that stuff automatically. Here we go. This is the actual result. It's kind of pushed down a little bit, but never minding that, you can see this is actually a pretty much perfect representation of what I wanted. So if we compare this to the actual Figma design, it is you know pretty much exactly what I designed. Um, and again, if I go through these, you'll see how uh, when you rely on other methods, they don't quite hit the mark, even though that one was really cool design wise. So that's how you would utilize the Figma MCP server to really get as close as possible to your Figma designs that you create. Now I will say this, when it comes to more complex layouts, like let's say for instance, like a whole dashboard layout, I would use the Figma MCP server, but when I'm back here in Figma right here, I wouldn't be using like the entire, I want to create a link based on the entire frame, the entire layout. So I would take it piece by piece, maybe like the header and then maybe the sidebar and this kind of additionally, you know, take care. Don't try to one shot a complex app because that's going to fail as well, very likely. So super excited to keep on going down this path. There's a lot more that I'm planning, a whole robust course on using Figma in order to create these designs and realize them in the browser and even make them function with cursor. So definitely subscribe here for updates on that and more content. All right, everybody, I'll see you soon. Goodbye.